Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to do the review of minimal ROM uh, for the Nexus 4 that comes with Android 6.0 Marshmallow. Um, this is actually an unofficial build, so this is not from Google. So if you want uh, to install on your Nexus 4, you can check my channel out for the tutorial. So it's pretty easy, it's not difficult, even if you have a locked bootloader or if you haven't root, uh, have root on your device or any a custom recovery so I can cover that all up in that tutorial video so yeah so I'm just gonna quickly uh, start this review off from the lock screen you can see uh, first one I just want to point out some things that I'll be uh, I have been using this ROM for uh, for about like one or two days and um, and yeah it does have bugs of course it's not the uh, like the like the official uh, or the final build, I should say. It's not the final build. It's like a really, really early build of the ROM. Uh, but it seems like they have done the great job to make it, you know, kind of as a daily driver. So, I mean, I, I haven't seen any major issue or any app crashing. Facebook and all the apps that I use on daily basis works pretty fine. So, um, so let's just take a look here on the lock screen. You got the Google now the unlock and the camera option and then of course if I want to just unlock the device you can just scroll here and there holding down the screen will bring up the, these three options and you can scroll like this so um, you can also you have to install the G apps uh, then you'll be getting all the cool features like Google now on tap and all that so 6.0 marshmallow does bring features like doze mode which it promises to increase battery life which I kind of noticed that it's standby time is getting a little bit better um, also we get the same type of uh, UI look in terms of the notification panel here as the lollipop uh, then if I go into main settings um, as you can see pretty similar setting as the official 6.0 marshmallow um, on the bottom uh, we, we can see system UI tuner which is unlocked uh, by default by the way so also if I go above and take a look here at the minimal tweaks so this is like a uh, feature that will develop as more version of the ROM will come so first off is the status bar some information regarding the battery you can change its uh, style from circle to icon and then also dotted circle uh, you can also hide this or next to icon or something like that this one looks a little bit more cool and um, and also we got navigation bar options double tap to sleep if I turn it on um, okay so it's not working at the moment yes but it will work so like I said there are some bugs that will fixed in the future build but I think it's stable enough for me to test out some things like benchmark and all that I mean that will be fun because I really want to see how Nexus 4 will perform uh, on the marshmallow against the Nexus 5 so or even the iPhone 6 I mean we're gonna have some fun with this phone and as you can see we got storage and USB all the cool stuff from the marshmallow is is here um, battery information here almost like 10 hours of uh, time that we're going to give me with this one 29 person and um, tap and pay memory uh, it's like a new way new marshmallow uh, <laughs> way to tell you your RAM usage and all that you can see total memory is 1.8 gigabyte average use is 34 person and free is 1.2 gigabyte so definitely you'll have plenty of RAM for multitasking and all that cool stuff oops lights are gone but still we can go with this review uh, also um, the security issue um, issues are also a little bit there because the developer says that it has some security issues some uh, memory leak and all that uh, but I haven't seen any major major problem at all um, one of my favorite features with the lollipop is basically uh, the Google now on tap so I got this chomp SMS so I'm just gonna show you that if I type like I love Eminem and if I hold this uh, home key button here and it's going to show me the information about the Eminem. It's, it's Google, it's, um, it's Twitter, it's Instagram, it's website and all that. Similarly, if I change the text from I love Eminem to I love Barcelona or McDonald's or anything like that. And if I do the same thing, it's going to show me that information regarding that uh, particular um, person or, or a place. So that's the beauty of the new now on tap feature. And also, uh, you can kind of see it, it does 
not give us the um, the suggestion apps on the front I don't know maybe in the future and it also has that old uh, uh, boot up logo um, that will get updated in the future build so but I think yeah it's stable enough it's still stable enough to uh, for me to test out different things on it so as you can see that we can uh, see how the multitasking looks like we can also um, close things by clicking on this uh, cross icon and close all the stuff by clicking on this button so uh, camera is working fine I can take pictures I'm just gonna show you that I can take pictures like that so okay so uh, here we go so this is the picture that I took right here and uh, and also same goes for the video recording it was working fine when I first tested it out so let's see how it will work if I go again into video mode and start recording a video so yeah as you can see it's pretty dark but yeah it's working fine I'm just gonna show you here So yeah, well, video recording is working fine. You can take pictures, flash, and all that cool stuff. Works fine. No apps crashing so far. Even with this early build, it's still performing good. And I'm really happy for Nexus 4 users. You will going to get some quality ROMs for this device. So this one not going to die anytime soon. And yeah, I'm happy. And I will going to compare it with more phones. I will make some specific videos for you guys if you want me to do like some specific. Uh, tests or something like that some specific thing that you want to see for this phone and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one peace out